are up this morning because we're headed out to uh, St. Louis, Missouri uh, to meet the international man of mystery, Frankie Fontana. Uh, it's rumored that he has a birthday today. We're Scott and Crystal. We see ourselves as vagabonds. And we're so tickled to say that we're headed out around the world. This is it. This is it. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. We sure appreciate it. last YouTube video we uploaded was shot this morning in the Opryland Hotel uh, in Nashville, Tennessee. And right now you're standing in the driveway of Frankie Fontana's home, um, uh, having flown to St. Louis, run out to Chesterfield and threw bags in a hotel room, <laughs> Ubered back to De Pere, which mm -hmm. is where we are now, now let's go see the birthday let's boy. Let's go see the birthday boy. That was the back of my hair. We got it here too, too late. late. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that? Look at the jerky oh, socks. Oh, I like other oh. birthdays better. <laughs> Happy yeah. birthday. Why, you're welcome. Oh. <laughs> you, you got me nervous there. <laughs> well, thank you. 29. <laughs> That's the right number. Thanks for reminding me. You, my friend, are the best person in the universe. <laughs> Look, I got a tan. I got hair, too. There we go. <laughs> and I can say that because I heard part of a podcast about space. What <laughs> <laughs> you need to understand is uh, Dr. Fontana was famous in his field. And to memorialize them, they wanted to create an animated character. And this is the character they came up with. So this is the animated feature, Dr. Fontana. Uh, and as I understand it, I'm holding, and it's mine, uh, the second of only two that have been made. What I noticed is that you uh, coordinated your wardrobe, both that shirt and yeah, for you guys, <laughs> and that ball cap they match. That's right. And it's an important date. It is. Yep. It is. It, Epcot. Epcot. Mm. Epcot. Walt Disney's Epcot. Yeah. Walt, Walt Disney's, Disney's Epcot. Epcot. What's, the, what's the holy ukulele there? Oh, the, the that that is Grandpa Fontana's. Um, his mandolin that he used to play that he brought from Sicily in, in 1922. Now, is it perfect, Penny? Yes. Okay, and she likes severed hands. I think so. Uh, okay. Maybe how, she's sending me a message. How, how did you ascertain this? She bought me two severed hands. <laughs> <laughs> and now, actually, what kind of knife is it? It is a, a Dr. David Marcus can opener. It's a can opener. <laughs> Captain Kirk's worthless son that used proto matter. William Anna, Joseph Barbera. Yeah, I met him. <laughs> have you? In fact, I have witnesses. Hence, Dino. Oh, this dad. But one day, one day that basement's going to be finished off. <laughs> <laughs> this, yeah, this, we're going to make this place into a museum, and we pretty well have done that with our house. Wait, oh, yeah. But wait, 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 wait. So, so we have a dynamic badge here, Yay. and it's sandwiched in between Desert Rose and what's on the left? Oh, us. Yep. That's a that's a Scott and Crystal coin. 
Well, let me see if I can give you a recap of how Frankie's uh, birthday party ended. We left Rosalita's last night and uh, went back to his house. And to cap off a birthday celebration, we watched the original series episode, Spock's Brain. Uh, that was about all we could handle for the night when we came back to the hotel. Uh, I did think that I would shoot this video so folks could get a little surprise. I think everybody was accustomed to seeing me in a particular hat last spring. And so I decided to retire that one in favor of, an, of a new hat uh, rolling into the second leg of the trip. So we're going to sit down with uh, Frankie one more time, be sure that uh, he knows he's appreciated and uh, wish him that happy birthday one more time. Uh, and then we're off on the next waypoint in our trip around the world, which will be Denver, Colorado, on our way to Salt Lake City. What I need is, did you have a happy birthday? Did I have a happy birthday? Yeah. What birthday are you talking about? <laughs> yes, I did. I was some very dear friends, and we ended the day. But the last memory I could have is watching Spock's brain. <laughs>